Dead Space Remake's Platinum Trophy was one of the greatest survival horror experiences I've ever had in my trophy hunting career. Get back! No, my leg! This is a phenomenal remake of a real classic, and a true spectacle to behold for gamers everywhere. This game isn't too incredibly hard to platinum with the exception of one trophy. And the platinum earn rate goes up every day the more people get their hands on this game. However, trust me when I say that doesn't take away from the genuine thrill of taking on this challenge. And I had zero intentions of cheating it. For my first playthrough, I was required to play this game on medium difficulty or higher. Playing on anything lower than that would forfeit a trophy. And so I decided to start my first playthrough on hard mode so that I could get a real sense of how difficult this game could potentially be. I'm excited, chat. I'm excited! Dead Space, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with Dead Space! I love this fucking franchise so much. Here we go. Look at this man suiting up! Yeah! This would also be great practice for the eventual impossible mode trophy, but more on that later. Uh-oh. Run! Oh god, I hear him right behind me. Jesus, he's fast! Fuck! That guy was right up my ass! I actually got spooked! I was trying to be trophy optimal during this run and get as many trophies as I possibly could. However, I just couldn't help stopping myself almost constantly to just sit and admire the absolutely incredible level of attention to detail in this game. Jesus. Ooh, look at that! Fucking good. The visual effects are absolutely stunning. From the pure sci-fi beauty of our various backdrops, to the insane detail during the various enemy encounters with the creatures you would be facing, this game just absolutely looks phenomenal. Okay. Cool! That's awesome! When he exploded, he lost all his flesh! He was like a skeleton! That's so sick! Oh my, that is such a cool attention to detail, man! Holy fuck, they did a good job with this game! For fuck's sake. No, oh, my arm! <laughs> this game captures the very definition of atmosphere and does an incredible job to instill fear into the player. Uh. Bro, the ambiance in this game? Ambience. Like, I'm hearing enemies, I know I am, but they're not actually here. The ambiance. Ambience. Just sometimes has necromorph noises. That's creepy as fuck. Really good to throw you off. Oh, yo, that's cool! I love it! That's awesome! Now it's creepy as shit in here! I found myself getting jump scared quite often, despite this being a remake of a game that I know so well. Dude, even in the ambience, ambience. I hear like squishy shit. The horror eyes. Squishy eyes. I like it. I like that squishy shit. You hear that? You hear the fucking uber doobers? <laughs> Fuck, I don't have another explosive. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. Legitimately. Holy shit! Dude, when I was shooting him, he didn't even slow down! Wow, that was terrifying! Holy shit, Necromorphs are scary! I'm so happy! <laughs> I was honestly just so impressed by everything about this game, down to the finest detail. Welcome. Do you guys hear that scream? That's so interesting. I never heard anything like that, and I've come through this room a few times. You could tell just how much love and care went into creating this masterpiece of a remake. Yeah, this game really recaptures the atmosphere of the original and even enhances it, really. Enhances it, really? Oh, enhances. Fancy word for a cell sword. Been spending time with fancy folks. I was especially captivated and enamored by Gunnar Wright's performance voicing our hero, Isaac Clarke. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. Get it right! Isaac talks! You piece of shit! You piece of shit! Fuck you! Fuck! 
<laughs> Damn, he, he really is a potty mouth in this game. I didn't think he had that many different swears. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> he puts 100% into every line, and the delivery is always so satisfying. Tell him, Isaac. <laughs> that one was so savage. <laughs> and it really makes you love the characters so much more the more you experience this memorable journey alongside him. It's the Leviathan. It must have snagged on the comms array after we spaced it. It's not coming off without a fight. Isaac, there's no time. There is if I use the ADS cannons. Manual targeting like before. I can shoot it right off the hull. I got this. God, Isaac is such a fucking badass, man. Like, never any doubt in this, man. See the Leviathan fucking over our chances of survival? Isaac's like, don't worry, I'm gonna blast the motherfucker into space. I got no choice. See you when it's done. Isaac, ow. It's like, Isaac goes hard at everything he does. And his dedication to this character is truly voice acting at the highest level. Want to go out there with all that shit raining down and target the ADS cannons manually? If I give the cannons enough targeting data, it'll recalibrate the system. You got a better idea? You know, when Isaac was talking just now, he sounded hurt. Like he was in pain. There's no way the audio was different because I was at lower health, right? Like there's no way that this game went that try hard. I'm doing it, yo. I'm gonna I'm gonna test that that theory out. I'm gonna see if he sounds different if you're higher health when you get to that scene. Okay, so I'm healthier. Let's see if Isaac sounds different. If I give the cannons enough targeting data, it'll recalibrate the system. You got a better idea? If I give the cannons enough targeting data, it'll recalibrate the system. You got a better idea? No way they recorded different audio! No way, Gunner Wright! Recorded every line in this game twice. Yo, that's crazy. No way. Ha How is this game that godlike? That's crazy, dude. What insane attention to detail. The guys who made this game are fucking unbelievable. They are actually... Well, I, I haven't seen game devs care that much about immersing you in the experience in a long fucking time. I don't even remember the last time I seen a game go that out of its way. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. But anyways, that's enough admiring just how great this game is. Let's get into the trophies. I was guaranteed a minimum of 16 trophies just for simply beating the game. However, I wanted to make the most out of my first playthrough by going for as many miscellaneous trophies as I could manage. Thankfully, most of them were very straightforward. Many of the trophies were kill-related and required me to dispatch an enemy in a very specific way. Oh, move, move, move. Yo! It works like Dead Space 2! Oh, no. Wait. No, I want the arm. I love it. It's so good! Oh, the first zero G section. I mean, fuck fighting the enemy. Why don't I just fucking? Oh shit! Yo, he sniped me. I can't believe how accurate he was. Well, now I'm in a completely new room. <laughs> Jesus. To be perfectly honest with you, the pulse rifle sucks ass in every game, and I'm not a fan of it in this game either. But maybe the ultimate fire is good. Yeah, I'd say it's good. Ah! Autopilot's taking us into geostationary orbit. What the hell? No way. I'm in a cutscene! I didn't even hear what they were fucking saying, man. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. There are also trophies to rack up 30 kills using each weapon. For most of these trophies, there was a very convenient enemy in the game called the Guardian. 
who will just repeatedly spawn smaller enemies that are very easy to kill, making this a great opportunity to gather as many of these trophies as possible. Was that it? Nice! Got the 30 kills with the pulse rifle. Perfect. I would rack up as many kills on these smaller enemies as I could, and once the trophy would pop, I would simply reload my file to get my resources back and try again using a different weapon. Oh yeah, I got it already? Oh hell yeah. Very good. I didn't even need to buy the 15. Now I just need the stupid flamer kills. Two squirts weren't enough either? <laughs> the sounds Isaac makes, I love it. Oh! No, he just barely lived. Come on, Isaac, you're taking it like a champion. You're doing God's work. I know it hurts. But it's for the good of content. Wait. No way I got 30 already. What the fuck? That flew. And this was how I got every single weapon trophy for 30 kills. I'm gonna do the 10 stomp kills. I've never tried stomping these things, so I don't know how the interaction is. Oh, nice! They just die in one hit. That's convenient as fuck. Just don't rip my head off. I'll let him rip my head off after I get the kills. It'll be funny. Yeah! Alright, take me, sweet embrace of death. <laughs> no, my head! God damn. Sebastian Castellanos, holy shit! Oh my god! I never tried the alt fire for this yet. Holy shit! That was a way bigger radius than I expected. Holy shit, that's dope! And then you can like synergize with the plasma cutter and then shoot the explosive? Damn, yo! Pusher. I push their shit in. Hell yeah. All right. We got all the... We, we officially have 30 kills with every weapon. By the time I finished with all of my kill trophies, I already had more than half of the game's trophies. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! You didn't hit me. Oh! Ah! Don't move me up! <sighs> yeah! Get the fuck out of here! The Viking bitch! Isaac, I'm on board. The battler's trashed, but I can make it to the bridge. The hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh gee, I don't know, Hammond. The fuck do you think it was? Absolutely. Couldn't have been one of the fucking hundreds of monsters trying to kill us. Isaac, we have a problem. The battler's carrying a 12 megaton warhead. I need you to handle that nuke right away. Handle 12 megatons? Christ damn it. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I think I triggered that nuke Hammond was talking about. Christ damn it. There were also a couple trophies to complete some optional mini-games, as well as the events associated with them. However, none of these events were too overly difficult, and I managed with them just fine. Fuck! Kidding me? It's 
survived the shooting gallery. Oh, it wasn't even an actual shooting gallery. It was a fucking charade for an actual fight. Wow, that was interesting. I didn't expect that. What a way to switch it up. What you got there, pal? That don't look so good. In the original- oh, I was about to say he eventually keels over. He finally did. Wait, but your rig is still full! Get up, man! Get up! <laughs> Wake up, man! Wake up, your rig is full! There was one notable trophy in order to acquire all of the schematics in the game. And this trophy was technically missable. The reason for this is that one of the final schematics that you can locate is found in an area that eventually becomes inaccessible to you once you've completed it. Still, you'd have to go pretty out of your way in order to miss it, as this schematic is quite literally in plain sight. Hey, you wanna die, fool? Come at me. Wow. How the fuck did he go down in three plasma cutter shots? And how- and more impressively, how the fuck did he get past those fucking lasers? Well, that was easy to not miss. All you gotta do is not be brain damaged. There were also some unique trophies that required me to complete a few different side quests. No related freak activity has been logged. God damn! These were completely optional, however, they were very necessary in order to platinum. Cluster security override. Oh, yeah. All access will be logged. Master security override successfully completed for badass motherfucking engineer Isaac Clark, the people's champion. Enjoy your mastery over the universe, you fucking pimp. Completing these side objectives and exploring these optional rooms would lead to some valuable weapon upgrades that I would eventually need in order to fully upgrade all my gear. And so I had to do this in order to eventually get the trophy for upgrading all weapons and equipment. So yeah, that was the last upgrade I needed. Very good. Install every weapon upgrade. Booyah! Oh shit! I got all the lights. There was, however, one trophy in this game that gave me some serious trouble. And that was the Wishbone Trophy, which requires you to rip off a dangling limb using Kinesis. And with that being said, I present to you the Wishbone Arc Quest for the Wishbone Trophy. You don't need a weapon to get the Wishbone Trophy. Just find a hanging body in a bathroom and pull the arm off with Kinesis. Plasma energy, very good. We always like that. 100 credits. Literally found in the same place for what it is. SHIT! You just pull that guy's arm off? What guy? What guy were you guys even talking about? The only person I saw in a bathroom was a fucking... Was a fucking human. So that that's where I'm really confused. Can you get the trophy off a non-necromorph body? Is that a fucking thing? I'm literally gonna run back there. What are you guys talking about? You can't just pull the arm off of it, it grabs the whole body. I thought this fucking trophy was for a necromorph, first of all. Like, I don't... Let's fucking look at this shit. Wishbone. Rip off a dangling limb using Kinesis. Oh, it can be done on just anything. I got it from a Necro, never tried on a human body, but you can at least try it. Wait, so you guys don't even know for sure? Are you fucking, like, just horsing my ass right now? You guys are just horsing my ass? I don't understand why people are telling me that this is a thing. Like, is this literally just fake news? Like, people are just saying dumb shit in chat? And I'm falling, f falling for it because I'm fucking stupid? Is that what's going on here? Hey look, the arm came off. Wow. This is dumb. Why would this work on a human body? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, no, I feel pranked. This is so dumb. That is so dumb that chat is literally just like, Oh yeah, you can do this. It'll be great. It'll be easy. 
and they didn't even test it or have any basis. Okay, to everyone in chat, for future reference, if you if you plan to continue watching my live streams for the foreseeable future, I'm, I'm fucking laying down martial law here. Don't open your greasy lips in my comment section and say something if you don't actually know if it would work. Like, why would you even open your mouth? Like, it's I, I'm not even that mad about being lied to. I'm, I'm upset about how dumb that is. How stupid that is. How someone would just open their mouth and literally fabricate fiction. What is wrong with you? Like, why would you do that? Oh, yeah, that'll fucking work. I'll just, I'll just pull that arm right off the body. It'll work great. Easy trophy. Never tested it myself. Never seen it done. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know if human limbs count. But yeah. Like, what, what, what is that? What is that garbage? Holy shit. I need some money. Super Beach Boy with the $10 donation says they might not be trolling because I read that you can do it on a non-necro in a guide, but I personally did it on a necromorph. I just don't understand how that's possible if Kinesis won't clip to human limbs. Fuck it, let's go try again, chat, for science. Yay, for science. We've got to have money. It's still prioritizing the torso. Maybe if I just aim far enough away from the body. No, that doesn't seem to be working. And the arm came off. Yep, I don't get it. Also, Matt, there is no logic to this trophy. It's RNG. <laughs> How do you get this fucking trophy? Oh. Yeah, I'm not trying that trophy again unless it's on an actual Necromorph. Fuck that. All right, let's see if I can do it. All right. Here we go, chat. This fucking trophy, man. I don't fucking get it, man. How do you do this? Holy shit. I don't think I've ever... Like, this... <laughs> I don't think I've ever had so much drama with a fucking trophy, man. This has to be the most, like, emotionally invested trophy I've ever attempted. I'm gonna try this one more time. And if I don't get it... What the fuck ever, dude. Bro, look at his arms. They're, they're fucking twigs. If I put one bullet in them, he's gonna fall apart. Like a piece of paper. I don't get it, chat. I can have his arm literally one-shottable, and I still can't kinesis it off of him. I, I honestly don't understand this trophy, like, at all. Yeah, fuck that. No, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it! Emergency. Oh, yeah. There's always bang, baby. So this is the motherfucker who stole it and hid it from me? Fucking motherfucker! Trying to deny me trophies? Ugh. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. I got fucking squishurated. Ha 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 ha!
An irresistible force met a very movable object. <laughs> Alright, calm down, music. It's not that big a deal. I've only killed like 30 of those guys. Relax. Ooh, I see that money. A hundred credits, Jesus Christ. Might as well have been poo. Fuck. Intentionally. What the fuck? Bro, I mean, I guess I'm not complaining, but see that see now imagine I upload that as a guide. Let's say, oh hey, uh, what's up YouTube? Godlike Matt here, and if you're wondering how to get the wishbone trophy, look no further. Cause I got the guide for you right here. Oh, you know, just used a fully upgraded force gun alternate fire, and you might by accident. Pull a limb off one of your enemies. Maybe, if you're lucky. If you were good this year, if you were on Santa's good list, you might get the trophy. <laughs> That's like... What kind of shitty guide would that make if I used that footage? Yeah, just do that. Just replicate that, no problem. Easy. Not long after obtaining that trophy, I was eventually able to finish my first playthrough of this game. And I had obtained every single trophy in this game, with the exception of finishing the game using only the plasma cutter, beating the game on New Game Plus, fully upgrading all weapons and equipment, collecting a marker fragment for the first time. Oh, there's a marker fragment. Nice! Hell yeah, found my first one! Didn't even need a guy! As well as unlocking the game's alternate ending. And last, but certainly not least, there was the trophy to beat impossible mode. I decided to run through New Game Plus on the easiest difficulty in order to scoop up many of these trophies as fast as possible. And I decided to save my impossible mode playthrough for the very last. <laughs> Gotta hold the line. Man, sometimes it baffles- ow. Sometimes it baffles the mind how easy the easiest difficulty on certain games are. Like, this is crazy. Like, is there someone bad enough at video games to die on this difficulty? Is that even fucking possible? Every enemy dies in like one or two shots and your health automatically regens without even using medkits. Who the fuck is dying on this mode? I want to meet the guy who's that bad. Despite flying through this game effortlessly, I realize how long a playthrough of this game truly takes. And it doesn't help that you can't skip cutscenes either. I swear to god, the last 7-8 video games that I've played within the span of the last few months, in every single one of those games, I couldn't skip cutscenes. For some reason, this practice is becoming more normal, and I really don't think that that's a good thing. Despite this, I still had a lot of fun my second time around, and I even managed to find some really cool secrets that I had missed the first time around. Punch. 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 Stomp. That was amazing! What? Yo! That's based off a real song, by the way. 
Th that's an actual sea shanty, but they changed all the lyrics and made it apply to Dead Space. That is so creative and awesome. I was also required to locate several of a brand new collectible type called Marker Fragments that could now be found scattered all over the Ishimura. Most of them were very easy to find, but a couple of them were actually very tricky. It's also worth mentioning that this game unfortunately suffers from a few glitches, and some of these Marker Fragment collectibles can actually permanently despawn, and if you end up saving your game after this happens, you could potentially fuck yourself over into having to play another playthrough. So it's really important to be very careful with your saves, and be extra careful to not miss any of the marker fragments. After collecting every single marker fragment on the Ishimura, and bringing them to a very special room, I had successfully triggered the alternate ending of the game. I also managed to get the trophy to upgrade all weapons and equipment after obtaining a large surplus of money and extra power nodes. Eventually, I managed to finish the game having used only the plasma cutter, and I had also unlocked the special ending, which would net me those last few trophies that I needed. At last, there was only one trophy stopping me from earning the platinum in this game, and that was to clear impossible mode. This would without a doubt be this game's greatest challenge. The enemies on impossible mode have the same amount of health and deal the same amount of damage as the enemies on hard mode. The only notable difference on this mode is that if you die, your save file gets permanently deleted and you will have to restart the entire game from the beginning. There is however a few steps that you could take in order to make this challenge much more manageable. For example, if you're ever afraid that you're about to die, you can literally just pause the game before something truly terrible happens, and then simply close application, then simply load up your save file to a moment before you died, and you're good to go. This is an easy way to cheese impossible mode, since you're allowed to save your game and you don't have to complete the game in one sitting. There is, however, several moments throughout Dead Space that present you with insta-kill scenarios. Oh, you gotta love the- oh god, do I make that? Uh, this seems pretty far. <laughs> Yo, why was it so far away? God damn it. AKA, there's a lot of things in this game that could very easily one-shot you, if you're not careful. If you do manage to get yourself killed unintentionally, you could still use the same strategy as before and close application, and if you could do this fast enough before the game over screen resolves, you could potentially save your run. Or if you want to go the extra mile, you could actually just back up your save file to the cloud using PlayStation Plus. And you could do this before any situation where you feel intimidated or when you lack confidence. For me personally, I didn't want to go that route. You guys know me and I love a good challenge. I've platinumed some of the hardest games out there. And so I decided to take on impossible mode without relying on any of these cheese strategies. No. 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 I made a vow to myself that if I were to make a mistake and die, that I would hold that L and honorably restart the game from the beginning. This way the integrity of the challenge wouldn't become compromised, and I would experience this challenge fully the way it was intended. Completing the game on impossible mode will earn unique rewards. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Hmm, I don't know where I'm gonna fight. Last time I fought around here, but you get surrounded pretty easily back here. If I fucking bring all my weapons over here. Cause no one can attack me from behind. So I think that's a good spot to bunker down actually. And there are plenty of resources in this room. I find the game, like, it's hilarious how many resources the game actually gives you to, like, kill shit without using ammo. Like, it's so easy to, like, disregard it, I find. Like, why go through all the effort when I have a gun? I could just shoot shit. But the amount of fucking resources you save by doing this is unreal. Dude, like, look at this. I swear I'm not gonna have to shoot anything with the amount of fucking shit they give you. This is crazy. Bro, I feel like a fucking gladiator. <laughs> I have to have them all right next to each other just to show you. Oh, dude, I can even use the fucking blades from the, from the vent. You push this out. Oh, did it fall? Oh, I got it. We're good. 
Alright, chat. Choose your weapon. <laughs> Look at this assortment of commodities and fine goods. This is... My economy here is just... These necromorphs aren't going to have any clue what to do against my economy. Business is booming. That's good progress, though. Good shit. Oh, fuck. There's another. Look at this. More ammo. All right, here we go. Let me fucking load my gun just in case. Here we go. No! My stasis! The explosion was too close! Damn it! Oh hell no. This guy thinks he's clever. I have weapons for days! You'll never breach! Oh shit! <laughs> well, uh... I was about to say, you'll never breach the line! But the line was definitely breached. <laughs> All things considered, I'd say that went pretty well. I used more of those than I thought I was gonna. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. <laughs> I didn't have to fire a single shot. Starting my impossible playthrough so far, I was doing very well. There were, however, a couple close calls here and there. Time to tango with a brute. Bam! He's in. Oh, I forgot! Fuck! No! Oh, no! No! Oh, thank God he doesn't come down here. Holy shit, I forgot to use my stasis pa- What? Ow! Is he dead? Yeah. At least I'm alive, but motherfucker. That, that was so stupid of me. I can't believe I forgot to use the stasis pack. Oh. It's easy to become absent-minded once you start feeling confident. And so I just had to remember to always make sure that I would go into every fight at full health and never be afraid to use a stasis pack when I needed one. Unfortunately, there are some times where no amount of preparation can save you from making an absolutely grueling mistake when it comes to this game's insta-kill scenarios. So you're not excited for Alan Wake 2 as well? Hell no. I'm mildly interested, but I'm only interested because because of how bad the first game is. Like, ironically, that's why I'm interested in the second game, because I'm so curious. Like, because the first game is unbelievably bad, and I can't get over it. And I'm just so goddamn curious as to how they'll make it not bad. Like, Alan Wake is not a game that should be getting a sequel. It's so dog shit. Like, I don't understand how... How that game is even getting a sequel? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. The cold, hard truth hit me like a fucking axe from Stucky. Carl Stucky. There was no island on the lake. And my wife. There was no wife either. Alan Wake. <laughs> Such a little thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You really miss her. You guys have me fucking talking about Alan Wake, man. It fucking cursed to me. And so, being true to my word. I took the L and began a full reset of the game starting from the beginning. Bro, I get so many recommendations from YouTube to see your videos. Well, why the fuck ain't you clicking them? Watch my fucking videos! Also, welcome to the stream. How's it going? 
How are you keeping so calm? I would have flipped the shit if Alan Wake screwed me over like that. Because <laughs> I'm used to bullshit, man. Like, it... <laughs> It, it's hard for this kind of shit to phase me. I'm hardly surprised. Well, I was surprised in the moment. But it's more about me being shocked about, like, I can't believe I fucking aped that hard. <laughs> I, f <laughs> I, f <laughs> I flew into the fucking insta kill beam. <laughs> Unfortunately, dying there really negatively affected my mental game. And for my next attempt, I was very impatient. I was taking a lot more risks than usual, due to sheer frustration. Still, I did manage to make it back to where I died the first time. And hilariously enough, it was an equally close call. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, Alan Wake, yeah. Alan Wake sucks. Shitty ass fucking game, yo. What a dog shit ass fucking garbage game. Alan Wake. Who likes that game anyway? Fucking people with bad taste. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't judge. But uh, seriously, if you like Alan Wake. Bro, I, my plan there was to deal with the slasher in front of me, and then I was going to turn and force gun blast all the little rinky-dink fuckers, but they got, like, it took me a bit too long to deal with the slasher, and by the time I was ready to turn around and force blast, they, they were all over me, and when they're on you, you can't shoot. You're not allowed to fight back, so you have to shake them off. I thought you were done for I honestly thought it was too. I almost died twice in the same room! In the same room, chat! Holy fuck, dude. That would have been unbelievable. After much dedication on my second attempt, I managed to clear impossible mode relatively without issue. So you're telling us that if the hive mind kills you, you're not gonna cheese? Listen, Nick, don't tempt me. I can't be tempted by fate. This is it. Here we go. Shout out to the hive mind for being such a chat, telegraphing the shit out of his attacks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my heart was like up in my fucking throat, dude. I was missing so many shots. Jesus Christ. I was actually so terrified I was gonna fuck that up. Jesus. Oh. But we did it! Yeah! Impossible mode in the bag! Woo! W. We're better. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> did it without cheating. I, or, well, not cheating, but I did it without cheesing. Which I guess is the same thing, but... Yeah. And so, after 42 hours spent earning trophies on this game, I finally managed to earn the Platinum Trophy without having to cheese through Impossible Mode. So was it worth it? It absolutely 100% was. Dead Space Remake is one of the greatest video games that I have ever played. 
and the gratification that comes with completing impossible mode legitimately was a testament to how much I absolutely adored this game. And I absolutely cherished every moment that was spent towards that goal. As far as I'm concerned, this is game of the year for me personally, and this is going to be a really hard one to top. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe for all things trophy related, and of course hit that notification bell for more Platinum Trophy videos on other games. Don't forget to check out the full Platinum experience for more videos just like this one. And also, I live stream every single week here on my channel, so consider stopping by to come hang out and chill. Anyways, take it easy, have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.